Hello, this is LP. For this um, video, I'm going to help you with the uh, uh, IP table in Kali. So we start, I have the IP table. Uh, so I have a testing machine here in virtual environment. So the IP for window is that IP address there and my Linux is there. So that's my window IP address. I use if IP config, you have that command there. For that's my window and my Linux. I'm going to run the if config, so I have my Linux config. So my uh, first, I'm going to do a checking whether the current IP table in my Linux IP table. And then there's capital L, and that's my current. Uh, I play some tests before, so I'm going to destroy them. IP table dash first them. Then there's nothing left. Now you go back. Uh, you get an L. That's the default of your IP table. Okay. So I just clean the window. So remember to show what the current you got IP table space dash capital L. Okay. I just clear the screen. So that's a current. So I'm going to create a um, the rule, a symbol rule, and I put in that folder. Okay, and then now I'm at the moment. I mean, I mean root at the moment. So I have done the rule already, and then you may copy this rule. And if you want to play, or you can move it on from here. I have a symbol rule there. So that's my rule. Remember the first line and the bottom line. If you miss spelling or a capital, you're gone. Symbol is that you cannot just start them. Okay, and of course that three lines you start with that. For further information, I show you where advanced later on. Okay, so what the rule explain here, you keep it what it is there, and my first rule I'm going to apply there. Okay, so any ICMP, any ICMP input anywhere to my computer will be rejected. And that's a local loopback. And then my next rule is TCP from remote to my machine is allowed. TCP uh, web server, TCP web server go to my uh, Linux server, uh, Kali is allowed. Okay, but this rule I have not applied. Okay, now I'm save them. Control O, Enter, and Control X. So I have not applied. That's my rule. I just make the rule there only. So now I'm going to do apply. So how do you apply? IP table dash R restore, and then what is your IP table rule? So that's at the moment. That's at my table rule. Again, this I this rule you can make any name if you want to. This any name you can make any name you want to. Okay, don't have to be that name. But the first bit here, this is a command in lean in Kali, so you keep what it is. So I hit enter. Now check the new rule again, see what they apply. Capital L for list. Okay, they list there. Okay, that's new rule applied already. So what I got here, so I just done that two bit there, I just stop them out. Okay, just kill them. Finish. Now next one, testing from remote for my ICMP. So at the moment, uh, my lean is there. Then I'm going to remote, I'm going to window, I pin to my Linux IP. So pin 172.16.202.128. That's my Linux machine. It rejected. They say it's zero, whatever, you know, nothing. Linux unreachable. Okay. Now I'm going to make them accept. So how do I accept them? So I'm going to change my rule again. So now know the file. I'm going to this file here. Change the reject, become accept. Remember, this is capital, right? It's capital. So when I finish that rule, this is just for ICMP, which is the remote ping into my Linux and like Kali only. Save them. Enter. Now I apply, I have to apply again, right? IP table, dash restore, and then I, the rule name. Okay, view again, IP table, uh, dash capital L, enter. So now, uh, ICMP will be accepted from anywhere. That's there we go. ICMP will be accepted anywhere. To test that, I'm going to my window. I do the same command again. See that? Now would be the say success. All of them reach. See that all of them reach. Okay, that is a test for um, ICMP. For more inform for more information ICMP, you may search this from Google. You search that from Google, there we go, ICMP, and you may go into the beautiful way. So what I just done is unreachable, so I'm going there, I'll do number three, destination unreachable. Or you can do number 
uh, reject them reject them somewhere in here uh, a call reply that what I just done accept or a call which means you send another request okay so have a look in here what is this uh, three zero and eight that help you a lot include any type of ICMP all right and more uh, more information about IP table you can go from here that's uh, similar to Kali and Linux is very much similar that's how advanced it's going to be okay this advanced beyond this uh, uh, little capture okay next one I'm going to do testing okay testing on my so that's done that's done so I'm gonna test my SSH because in in my configuration I'm allow SSH right so I currently SS, SSH is allowed okay so you can check that again you can check it again in your rule this is there we go that is you allow SSH so to test this through how do I test it first you have to have the SSH enabled right so in map you check whether in map running uh, and your Kali by default that should have an map localhost okay that's my end hack uh, SSH run but if you want to run if you want to test you want to test this you need to um, you need to modify a little bit in SSH before you can remote control your server right now no SSH SSH and then SSH D underscore copy Confit. You need to allow your um, root. There we go. If you don't have that, if you not enable that statement, you cannot log in remote, which is the exercise I'm going to show you just in a moment for remote access SSH. Okay, you need to do that. When you've done that, and then you have to save them. Of course, you have to save them and restart your SSH. All right, restart your SSH service uh, SSHD and then reload. You have to do that. Okay, now my service already run. I'm going to test from remote using uh, Putty in my window. Putty exe you can download direct from, directly from internet. Okay, my Linux server 172.16.102.128. I can make I can, I come back later. So I said Kali to test. Then I save them. Okay, so now the port number there. Don't go and turn it. Keep it as a search. And then open. Done and locking. So now I'm locking from now I'm locking from here. There we go. That's my window. You see that's that's my window IP address. I'm in window and that's my uh, IP window. Uh, I'm from there. Okay. And what do I do? What what do I do? I run the W command. Just the W command there. Okay. So I'm locking remote successful. I'm locked out. Get out of here. Next bit next bit that I'm going to test my uh, test my web server so at the moment in Kali I have a web server is enabled okay so I'm going back to my Kali Linux Kali I check my table web servers run there we go port 80 run at the moment this is active right so I'm going to test in Linux but before you test make sure run your local whether your web server is running or not localhost okay at the moment your web server is not running so you need to make it run okay service I do it all the way um, uh, Apache 2 and then star okay so now do nmap again there we go your port 80 TCP 80 run in your Linux Kali right now go to window uh, window play is the old way so I do 172 I got there already there we go bingo so I test my Kali uh, my web right um, web done remote done TCP so I've done on that on the lab for you already so again conclusion for this lab I have the Linux IP, uh, Linux IP there, window IP. The purpose of the lab is uh, making a simple rule for IC uh, for IP table in in Kali, and apply the rule. Yes, apply the rule there, and test. Apply the rule. Yep, yeah. and then testing 
Test number one is ICMP. Test number two, port 22 S, uh, TCP and web server. And we haven't done the test uh, TCP 443 yet. Okay, the rest I'll leave it there for you. Best of luck, people. Bye for now.